Hello. Today I'll show you how I built the subwoofer enclosure for a Logitech woofer. I've always wondered if it's possible to make a better sounding subwoofer box than the Logitech made. In the next video we'll do a subwoofer's base test, brand built boxes versus a custom made one. To build a good subwoofer box, you need to know the woofer's TS parameters. For that, the tool from my previous video comes in handy, the Dayton Audio DATS speaker measurement tool. With it, I measured this Logitech G51 woofer's resonant frequency. As we can see, it's around 55 Hz. That means there's no point tuning the bass reflex port much lower, since it would cause a significant loss in bass response. Once you have the woofer's main specs, you can model the box size, port frequency, and also the port diameter to avoid wind noise. When those simulations are ready, it's time to start building the subwoofer enclosure. You can use almost any material, plywood, MDF, or even chipboard from your grandmother's old furniture. The thicker the material, the better. Though, keep in mind this is only a 5.25 inch woofer, so no need to go overboard. When building the box, it's important to make all seams completely airtight. The woofer hole should preferably be placed symmetrically in the center of the box. Since the base reflex port is quite long, I place mine on the side. You can buy ports online or try making one yourself. I'll also be making a separate video about DIY base reflex ports at home. When the box is finished, just mount the woofer, connect the wires to the speaker terminal, and it's ready for the first sound and bass tests. I love this moment. A new subwoofer is born. Of course, such a Frankenstein box doesn't look great next to a PC, so we need to prepare it for painting. This step requires multiple rounds of filling and sanding, but I have to remind you, my woodworking skills are terrible. If you see my other projects, you'll know even my grandmother's teeth are straighter than my subwoofer boxes. Once the surface is acceptably smooth, clean off all dust and fingerprints, then apply Duratex texture coating for speaker boxes. Thanks to Duratex, the enclosure gets a very durable and great looking finish. Personally, I love how it turned out. I can't wait to put it head to head against Logitech's factory made sub boxes. For now, have a great day and see you in the base test video.